kind of projected and like forced an assumption but it's at the same time like I said before like that might be legit how she actually feels but I think being in the same situation if I was in the same situation if I, was, if I thought you know the love of my life or whatever was feeling the same exact way like I wouldn't be like yeah no I think you're feeling the same exact way like you need to be honest with yourself about it like I would have been like look this is how I really feel. Like, I really need you to let me know how you feel about it. And, you know, take it in your heart and just assess it whatever way you want to. Because the only reason I bring it up, because if you're going to say it like that, I wouldn't say it like that on camera. Like, it kind of puts Nally in a spot. And I think that she's going to probably bring that up because now it's like publicly easily done this. And, I mean, technically... Nat the thing is, that's why I don't know if this is real because Natalie knows that she's recording. But not just that, like, Natalie could have been like, yeah, don't post this up. So it's like one or two things. Either one, this is a story, and this isn't real. Two, they already are courting or whatever, whatever's going on. Or three, like, I don't know, like, I don't know if this should have been recorded. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's weird because. Nally's response wasn't even on Easy X Nally, it was on her channel. And it's so like what that does is it promotes her channel. And legit Easy just posted up today another video on her channel. So yeah, I don't know if this is real, you guys, but I mean it's entertaining. They're amazing actor a actresses in general. But uh I'm gonna start this out. I might have to pause it because I'm doing something else in the background too. Hey baddies, um, so right now I am, crap it's dark, <laughs> right now I'm on my way to Easy house. For those of you that don't know, um, Easy, my best friend, um, she confessed her love for me. She basically wanted me to, you know, spend time at my house to think about my feelings for her. Um, and kind of make a decision on what I want to do. Um, so I'm about to head over there right now. But he's about to be a friend for real. Um, a little bit more when I get to the car. So, Because, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, an alley assesses it like, you know, Let I feel about it. Get situated. She got to know, like, feelings. It's like, in. that's something like, um, especially if that's your best friend. Oh, hold on. Oh, my gosh. That's something okay. that, like, one, she so, has to first accept. Guys, bear with me. This is the process. Thing. All right, it's hot. I'm wearing a mask. I'm stressed. Um, How's that? All right, so I know that this is a little bit different for um, my beauty channel. I usually she really do, don't have to do anything about it right um, now. You know, beauty like, that's a lot. and stuff, but I really wanted to make sure. This got to be a story, bro. Channel, hey, there's no way I would sit there and post this. No, the real I wouldn't do it. Um, I want to include you guys in my life. I wouldn't do it. And just um, let you guys know, you know, what I'm going through something. Um, originally, I was going to do this video as like a get ready with me. I was going to do my makeup and talk about it at the same time. But honestly, I don't think I was going to be able to do that. Um, we're, you know, both kind of going through like an emotional roller coaster right now. And I feel like it, it was just too emotional to talk about while doing my makeup but I did want to fill you guys in anyone who is on this channel who doesn't know what's going on um, and kind of give you a little bit of oh, yeah, I know what's going on oh <sighs> all right so where do I begin 
recently, um, my best friend, Easy, um, a lot of you guys might know who she is, and Easy, she confessed her love for me. Oh, crazy, bro. We've like been it. best friends for four years now. Um, literally inseparable. Have done everything together. Um, and a few days ago, she told me that she's in love with me. That's what I'm mad you did it, bro. And honestly, it was a shock. It was it was it was very shocking. I know that there has always been like little you know things like in our relationship. There was like this um, you know unspoken thing that you know I felt like she thought it was cute or you know I knew that she loved me dearly, but I didn't know that she was in love with me. And um, she kind of you know did it out of nowhere and it kind of threw me for a loop and. She also recorded it, and I knew she was recording and everything, but I didn't know when she said that we were going to start being more open with our audience that she meant that open, because it was, sorry, let me. I'm about to say it like that. It, but, ain't no way, bro. Um, ain't no way. Ain't no way. I didn't know she was going to be that open, you know? Because this wasn't like a live way. thing. Like, they edited this joint forced me to be like, all right, I need to be open with you guys too. I need to let you guys know what I'm going through and what I'm feeling. So here I am. Because being if it's a situation where Easy was like, yeah, I need to record this. I hope that, you know, I'm not judged in the then process. Then like, I'm now it's like, nah, don't, please don't post that. Let me think me. about it. And then that's going to look bad on Natalie. So because I do uh. look at you guys like family, you know, I feel like we're building such an amazing bond and I really do love you guys. So I guess I'll just go back to like how Easy and I actually met. So Easy and I met through social media. Um, I DM'd her um, in 2016 and asked her to collaborate. We both make comedy videos um, on Instagram. And I thought she was hilarious and super cool. And I was like, you know what, I would love to collaborate with her. So I DM'd her and she actually wrote back. Um, despite having so many more followers than me at the time, you know, I probably had like 20,000 followers and she had about like 300,000, so that's a huge Dang. gap. And I thought maybe she would act bougie, but what? she didn't. And I didn't honestly, know what this count we is. clicked immediately. Oh, yeah, this on my From neck. From the is first just time her, that uh, we FaceTimed, okay, like <laughs> her and I were like, it was like this. Fast forward to when I moved to LA in 2017. Easy was newly single, and so was I. So hey, I think that got helped us to become closer. Um, because we didn't have like you know boyfriends or girlfriends like looking at us like what the heck, right? Um, we have built the most beautiful relationship over the past four years. Um, literally, Easy's my family, like. She means so much to me. We've accomplished so much together. Girl, this ain't looking good. It's not looking <laughs> like good. you guys, some of you guys know, like we wrote shows together, we've been on the news and interview together, we've had viral things, we created merch together, we wrote a book together, like we've done so much like Easy is not just my best friend, she's like my partner in crime. She's everything that I could have ever wished for in a person. Dang! Dang! What's um, that? What? <laughs> so when she confessed her love for me, do her all. That threw I don't know what to think. Like, do her all. Honestly, I was. She was scared. I was shocked. I had so many different emotions like flowing through me and. I was nervous, like my heart was literally pounding and I just couldn't believe it. Um, she came to my house and I didn't even know she was coming, guys. Like, she calls me and I'm upstairs and she's like, it's hey, right now. You know? I'm like, what's going on? Like, you know, if she just shows up unannounced during a pandemic, I'm like, all right, something's up. She used to always do that and bring me like candy or like champagne and we have girls nights, but during this time I knew something was wrong. So when I came down and she was like, oh, I need to talk to you. And she was like super nervous and stuff and filming. And I was just like, what is going on? Y'all like, what is going on? When we got into the car and she told me that, you know, 
she had something to tell me, like, nothing could have prepared me for the emotions that I was going to be feeling. So, yeah, she weird, told me that right now. I don't know, she bro. can't imagine our lives without each other. Um, not in, like, a friend way, like, in a she wants to be with me way. And that she is completely, like, in love with me. And she started crying and telling me that, you know, she'll treat me better than anyone ever has and if i'm scared like i know this is different um Dang. but if i'm scared she's gonna be here for me Dang. and it was honestly it was a lot it, it was a lot to take in and it was an emotional roller coaster and the whole time my best friend is crying her eyes out i felt like i was being stabbed in the heart like the fact that, you know, my best friend has been holding uh, this amount of love in right for, back, for all these years. Or... Alright, let's continue this. However long, I'm not really sure. She didn't say exactly how long she's felt this way for me. But, you know, it was heart-wrenching. It was heartbreaking to know that, you know, all this time she was just holding it Breath. in. Well, you back again. Am I ever going to finish this video? <laughs> Goodness. Sorry, guys. So now, honestly, I've just been doing a lot of thinking, um, trying to process the feelings that I have. And, you know, I've been seeing everybody's posts, all of our fans, and, like, going crazy about what Lizzie posted. Um, on our channel. Right, that's putting way too much and, pressure on Natalie, you know, bro. It's just honestly added to the confusion of my emotions and how I feel and what I'm going to do. But, you know, Easy made it pretty clear that she she's going to love me regardless, but she said specifically that she can't go on like this as best friends um, without confessing her love for me so I don't really know where that leaves us Dang. Um, and that's that's honestly one of the most stressful parts is what's gonna happen to our best friendship and, um, depending on like I guess what my answer is you know sorry Dang. Just been See, so she put fresh on this girl really bro to being so just open and vulnerable um, like publicly yeah, like, real. Like, that's a lot, bro. That's a lot. I'm about to drive over there to see her. We haven't really been talking and stuff because she really just wanted me to take my time and she's been giving me my space, which is honestly, like, it was just amazing of her. You know, Easy is just such an amazing and loving person. Like, this is a to whole be lot. Honest, I guess I'm just kind of venting to you guys because I don't really know where this conversation is going to go. I'm scared. Dang, now don't I'm break. Worried, like, don't break down. Worried about our friendship. And I don't really know how to feel. Mm. I don't know how to feel that. Aww. Okay. I guess it's a little bit of comfort, you know, to be able to talk to you guys and, you know, see what you guys comment back and what you guys you know, like. post on your stories and stuff. And it helps me to feel like supported. So I just want you guys to know I appreciate all of that. But also, you know, guys, keep in mind that this is so different for me. You know, I this a girl confessing her love for me. You know, that's I'm, a lot. That's a I'm whole lot. Not bisexual. I've been straight my entire life. Um, That's a whole lot. So I, it's just a lot to process. So I just appreciate you guys being so understanding. Bro, this is a whole lot. I don't know if I can just supporting me. So it's like I'm way to Easy's house now. I just want to say whatever happens, we're both humans. So please keep an open mind. Oh Lord. All right, I'm gonna stop this. Um, hold up. Uh, okay, so it just automatically went to Easy's new video. Um, again, 
I feel like Easy put Natalie in a hot spot. Now, I don't think she meant to, but it's three different things I just would have done completely differently. I would have had this completely IRL. I wouldn't have posted up the video and submitted it because by posting it, then it's kind of like, what is Natalie supposed to do? Like, you leave an ultimatum, like, what does that mean? Versus just confessing and say how you feel, what's going on, like, I still love you and regard you as my friend either, either way. Like, it's kind of like, no, you, I know you got feelings for me, this, 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 this. And it's like, even if she did feel something, like, that's going to push her away, bro. Like, I, I don't think you'll get the result that you want. Like, if I was telling my homie, and they did the same thing, I would tell them, like, yo, bro, I, I think I wouldn't have made this public thing. I would have kind of maybe, like, vlogged it and just leave it after the fact. After the fact, then y'all post it up after everything. Inside, together, collectively, are y'all going to go and post it up together? So, I, I don't know, bro. And I don't know... I don't know if he's going to get the answer she wanted. I'm not even going to... No cap, bro. Like, I, I just... Because I feel for Natalie. Because Natalie, what? She, she literally just said, like, bro, like... I've been a straight woman. <laughs> like, it's not like... But then, at the same time, like, she never had a relationship with her. Like, not like... Not like this. Like, she's got a real friendship with this woman. So, I don't know, man. I... And then this is the other thing, it's like, if this was really real, I really wouldn't. I would, even if on both sides, I'd be like, yeah, let's let's hold this back. Like, let's not talk about this. Because now it's kind of like a situation where they, they all are benefiting. They're benefiting on all the channels, on all the different platforms through this story. But unless, I don't know, I really don't know. This is, this is hard. This is hard. This is a really good uh, entertaining uh, story. It's a good distraction from stuff that's going on. Uh, in the world right now, but I don't know, man. I feel for their friendship, for real, for real. Like, kind of like Natalie said, like, I, I I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of like, what what do you expect her to do? You know what I mean? Anyway, all right, I'm about to check out this. I guess this is the last video. I'm going to confirm what's going to happen one way or another. All right.